Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how we can actually add the product to our Shopify store using the Shopify admin rest API. Okay. In today's session, we will learn how we can actually add the product image using the admin rest APIs. So for that, we first need to create a const relative path helper and we name it uh, const images and then we need to pass the shop and also we need to pass the product id okay so product id is a mandatory or required for this relative path so on which product we are going to add the image okay so we say it here api base url we need to pass the shop then we need to append the products and here we say it product id and at the end we need to set the images dot json Okay, so this will be a relative path to the images against the product ID. Okay, now we need to export that images helper and inside the Shopify product, we need to first import that. So we say images. Okay, and at the bottom, we need to create a helper called aid product image. We say async, need to pass the payload. Okay, and inside the payload, we have a product id as a parameter and this is a required parameter we must be passed this that product id so it is a required and inside the payload we can uh, adding the product image not updating the product image so for adding the product image we have a uh, two ways to add that add that image to the product so either we can pass the source inside the source we can pass the image URI if we have an image on a, some cdn or other we have an image on a cloud uh, like dropbox or other storage services then we need to get the uri and we set it inside the source variable okay either we can send the attachment okay the second way will be we can set the attachment and inside the attachment we have an image content as a base 64 string okay so we can we can use any one way to add the product image okay so now let's start to build the xs request here we say data await access and here we set url and inside the url we say images and we need to pass the shop so we get the shop from the process we need to paste it here and we say method will be post and we say data inside the data we need to set the image and inside the image we are uh, first uh, doing the demonstration with the attachment so inside the attachment we need to get the attachment from payload so we say payload attachment and we need to set the headers inside the header we need to set the shopify custom header called x shopify xs token okay and we will get the token from the process dot env paste it here and we need to bind then and cage say response need to return the response okay and the cage we say error and here we check if error dot data then we return error dot data either we need to return something went wrong okay and here at the bottom we need to return the data need to format the code and export that helper called add product image Okay, so for the multi-part data, we first need to install a package which we will we will use that package as a middleware to read the multi-part form data. I am using npm i connect multi-party. There are many packages available in, in the market. So I am just using connect multi-party. You can use anyone. Okay, now we first need to import that. So we say multi party require connect multi-party and we need to also import the file reader so we say require fs and at the bottom now we need to create the endpoint called a dot post we say api shopify and we say products need to pass the product id as a parameter and we say images okay and we now bind the middleware multi-party and we just bind the request handler we say request to response and inside the response we first need to build the payload at the payload we say product id 
and we will get the product id from the param so request params dot product id and we will also set the attachment by reading the image from so we say fs read file sync and we will get the file from request files dot image dot path and we need to set the encoding in base 64 okay and here we need to call the helper call it product image which is here and we need to pass the payload need to return response partition a product image need to format the code okay and we first need to place the breakpoint here and here and then we need to start the api so we say npm start and navigate to the browser here you can see on the store we have a testing product which we have added in our last session and there is no any image first we need to authorize so we get the merchant link copy from here paste it just hit enter successfully authorized now just open the postman inside the postman inside the shopify collection we need to add a request we name it eight product image okay change to the post we say http local host a port for thousand api shopify products and we need to get the product id from here so we just need to click open in a new tab and you can get the product id okay so here's the product id and just save that product id here say images okay save inside the body just select found data change to file name it image okay select the image i have a t-shirt image on the desktop select open and just send the request we have uh, some error so it is 404 and now just verify the URI. so it is oh you can see here undefined we have not passed the product id we have missed that payload.product id okay now we need to restart the api just navigate to the browser just copy the merchant link paste it here authorize successfully authorize resend the request and you can see we have got the response okay we have uploaded the image on the product id and now just refresh the browser here we can refresh and here you can see we have uploaded the image okay so i have just added the image with the attachment and i am just leaving the source image uh, to you that you can get the code and test that okay and now if you want this image to be a primary image then you can uh, set the and other parameter inside the payload here if we set the parameter called position okay to one then that image will be a primary image so we also set the position position and we get the position from payload dot position other we can then say it undefined okay save it and now let's stop we need to stop the api because we have changes restart and we need to navigate to the browser we need to reauthorize okay and i think we first need to remove the image from here so just refresh select this image delete file and now just send the request once again and we have successfully uploaded the so it is position payload we must confirm that so it is position one now just navigate to the store refresh okay so now this image is a primary image okay we have set that image as a primary image you can also see that thing inside the response so you can see here data images and position one here you can see so it is a primary image okay so i'm hopeful that you have enjoyed the session if you have any query regarding this session 
then just please uh, place your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries or suggestions by my share contact details okay and hopefully we will come back with another session regarding the getting the images for the product variants okay take care bye bye